Hola, hola, buenas tardes por estar aquí con nosotros en esta charla de septiembre. Este mes nos acompaña el director de Fourth Plain Ford, Paul Burgess, para informarnos más sobre su organización. Él nos va a informar sobre recursos para negocios pequeños, eventos y más. Para las personas que están escuchando, eh, Paul no habla español, entonces yo voy a traducir por él. Um, y vamos a hablar sobre una conversación, entonces si a veces miran que él me da una pausa, es que él quiere traducir para Uh, que traduzca para él. Joining us this month is Fourth Plain Ford Director Paul Burgess. He will be sharing with us about the organization and their mission. He will be giving us information about resources of small businesses, events, and more. Hi, Paul. How are you today? Hi, I'm really good. Lovely to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're excited to have you here. Uh, de nada, estamos muy agradecidos de que estás aquí y nos vas a dar información. Um, Paul, Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be the director of Fourth Plain Forward? Nos puedes contar un poco de usted y cómo llegó a ser el director de Fourth Plain Forward. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm originally from uh, the UK, from London. Um, and uh, so I moved to Vancouver about four years ago. Uh, my wife is from Vancouver, so that's why I'm here. Um, and then uh, this role I started in January of this year. Um, so just sort of new to this position. Uh, but my background is international development. Okay, nice. Um, Paul dijo que él um, era, um, se movió a los Estados Unidos, a Vancouver. Él, su esposa es de Vancouver y por eso está aquí. Um, él es de Reino Unido. Um, él está trabajando ahorita con, como el director de Fourth Plain Forward. Um, Paul, how and why was Fourth Plain Forward created? ¿Cómo y por qué fue creado Fourth Plain Forward? So Fourth Plain Forward was created in 2017 uh, as part of a City of Vancouver and Clark, uh, Clark County Public, uh, Public Health um, Initiative. Um, and so that's really where it all started from. Paul dice que Fourth Plain Forward fue creado um, específicamente con la ciudad de Vancouver y otras organizaciones para trabajar en la área de flame, uh, the Fourth Plain. Yeah, and we're a, we're a non-profit uh, 501c3 and we're very independent of, uh, of the city, but, um, but we work alongside the city um, and have a contract with the city, but we're also funded in various other ways as well through Community Foundation Southwest Washington um, and other grants as well. Dice Paul que él, um, ellos trabajan independientemente de la ciudad, pero sí tienen ayuda de la ciudad y también este... Um, um, tienen, agarran dinero de diferentes lugares y diferentes organizaciones para poder trabajar con Fourth Plain Forward. Mm. And we were, we were created specifically to work um, with uh, communities along the, along the, along the corridor, and um, so specifically to work um, alongside our Hispanic Latino communities, our Black African American communities, Pacific Island community members, um, Asian community members, and other members along the corridor. Um, was the that was the reasoning for, for creating Fourth Plain Forward. Dice Paul que ellos específicamente trabajan con las minorías que viven al lado de Fourth Plain. Um, entonces su trabajo de ellos se enfoca en estas personas que viven en esta área. Um, and so yeah, so uh, so our role is to provide um, is to provide uh, various different um, placemaking opportunities, work directly with local businesses, and um, to really help improve uh, the, the local area. Dice que él, la meta de Fourth Plain Forward es para hacer la área más mejor. Um, to make the, you said to make the area just a whole lot better. And what else did you mention? Sorry about that. Yeah, and also, uh, so we work with the local businesses as well. We provide technical assistance for businesses um, in, in various different, various different programs that we run. Y al mismo tiempo tienen programas para ayudar a los, a los negocios que están en esta área. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so we've been doing that. Since since 2017, um, obviously the pandemic had a big impact on the work that we do, um, and so for the first couple of years we were we were working in community, and then during the pandemic uh, we had to shift a lot of our work to ensure that we could help the local businesses and the local community members through vaccination clinics and also putting cash grants out into the community uh, to help local businesses stay afloat. Dice que todo cambió cuando empezó la pandemia. Um, al principio ellos trabajaron mucho en persona con los negocios y ya cuando empezó toda la pandemia necesitaron que cambiar las metas, uh, ayudar a los negocios financieramente um, con dinero y también um, ayudar con clínicas de vacunas para el COVID. 
Yeah, and so now with the um, with the, uh, the the introduction of um, the American Rescue Plan funding, um, which was which was put in place last November, um, and the city has allocated thirty million dollars to this corridor specifically. Um, so we're now working um, with the city to hopefully ensure that money is spent by and for the community and um, to really impact um, the community and, and bring some really good infrastructure and other opportunities um, for the community as well. Y sepa que con el dinero que dio el gobierno um, en el tiempo del COVID, um, el pasillo les dieron 13 millones de dólares para el pasillo entre la comunidad y él está enfocándose que la comunidad use ese dinero um, responsablemente para la comunidad. Um, so yeah, so we now have, we're now creating a, a new range of different programs um, and really sort of building out um, what opportunities we can provide um, small businesses and community members. So over the next few years, things will be, will, will become much, much broader in the opportunities that we can offer. Dice que en los próximos años va, um, va a haber muchos más programas y muchos más recursos. Eh, de verdaderamente es todo para ayudar a los negocios y la comunidad con ese dinero que dio el gobierno. Okay. Are you ready for the next question? Sure, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So what is the mission of Fourth Plane Forward? ¿Cuál es la misión de Fourth Plane Forward? I know you kind of already talked about that, but if there's anything more in depth that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, and I think so. Our, our current mission, as it stands, really is uh, is to support the success the success of, of area residents, promote the unique identity of the area, um, and to really work to improve the physical environment of the of the district itself. Um, and so um, that that mission um, is is currently evolving. Um, and so we really, because of that funding that that's coming into place, uh, there's, we're, we're evolving that that mission as we move forward, really. Dice Pa que de verdaderamente la misión de Fourth Plain Ford es de ayudar a la área, ayudar a la comunidad y de avanzar la área para que se haga más más grande. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where it's it, it, we're in a nice we're in a nice position to be able to to really broaden our scope and a big part of us for, for that now is to really to be talking a lot more to community members along the Fourth Plain Corridor to really understand what they would like us, us to be as an organization and what programs they would like to see uh, us to, to deliver for them. Dice Pa que ellos de verdaderamente quieren hablar con la comunidad y escuchar lo que ellos quieren ver en el pasillo de Fourth Plain Forward, lo que ellos piensan que les va a ayudar en sus vidas. Entonces él está hablando con la comunidad para ver lo que ellos necesitan que traer en Fourth Plain. And, and really for us as well, it's about removing barriers for folks um, and really, um, really ensuring that, that the work that we're doing um, is really community led um, and not, not driven by anybody else. It's driven by the community. Y dice que él quiere quitar barreras para las personas que viven en esto y de verdaderamente que el trabajo que están haciendo ellos es un liderazgo entre la comunidad y um, tener esa voz de las personas que viven en la comunidad. And I think part of that as well, part of our mission at the moment is to bring on staff members. At the moment, um, there's just myself and, and one other staff member, um, but the intention is to is to broaden our staff team out to include um, to include. Spanish speakers and uh, and folks from the from the Hispanic and Latino community as well as other communities as well. Él dice que ahorita una de las metas de ellos es de traer a más personal, especialmente a las personas que hablan español, para que puedan comunicarse con las uh, con la comunidad latina y otras comunidades. Great. Okay. So, what types of resources do you offer for these small businesses? ¿Qué tipos de recursos ofrecen para negocios pequeños? So, yeah, so um, the the technical assistance, which really is things like um, how to market your business, how to look at your finance for your business, um, and those those types of, uh, of, of uh, technical assistance, we uh, we partner with a couple of organisations, so the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and we 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 we, um, we refer to uh, to the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and also to the um, uh, Micro Enterprise Services of Oregon to deliver those types of services. Okay. 
So um, I'll probably ask you the interpreter a little bit of that. But um, Paul dice que ellos ayudan um, con las cosas de la financiera, financieros um, para los negocios y trabajan con diferentes personas entre la comunidad para ayudarles a ustedes con todo lo que significa con el dinero sobre su negocio. Um, I said a little bit pretty much that um, you guys help everything as far as like financing, but you help with like other organizations. So anything that really has to do with money with the business, that's what you guys help with. Yeah, and we and we 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 help refer people. We don't have um, a whole heap of services here for uh, okay. for that technical stuff. So we refer to other organizations, but we also have our own programs that I can talk about as well. Okay, Paul está aclarando que entre la organización de Fourth Team Forward, ellos um, tienen unos recursos para que les ayuden ustedes con sus negocios, pero lo que especialmente hacen es que ellos te van a mandar a otra persona que realmente te puede ayudar con todas tus uh, preguntas que tienes de tu negocio. And so um, other programs we run at the moment, we provide um, websites for, for local businesses along the corridor. So we work very closely with, um, with an organization, a Hispanic-led organization, to, to provide websites, so free websites to local businesses. Um, and um, so that's one of our key programs. Okay, dice que uno de sus uh, programas um, principalmente es a crear sitios de web para los negocios que están en el pasillo del, del fourth plane. And so if you know anybody along the fourth plane corridor who runs a business who would like a website, get in contact. Y dice, entonces, si ustedes conocen a alguien que tiene un negocio en el pasillo del fourth plane que um, necesita un sitio de web, que por favor contacten a ellos que les pueden ayudar. We're particularly keen at the moment to, to work with restaurants and food businesses um, because we feel that Uh, bringing uh, bringing people to the corridor to explore the food that's here, that's available um, is a very good way of, of, of increasing um, the economic development of the area. Dice que ahorita están trabajando mucho con los restaurantes que están en la área porque dicen que uh, piensan que la comida culturalmente es una cosa muy buena para atraer a las personas entre la comunidad. And um, we're also partnering with the Vancouver Chamber of Commerce to offer free membership to businesses along the corridor. And so we will provide um, 50% of the cost and the, the Chamber of Commerce will match that 50% of cost. And so they, they get a free one year membership and, and that opens up a large amount of marketing opportunities for businesses along the corridor as well. Okay. Um, so you, um, so it's almost like a fifty percent discount. You said it was like um, you do the fifty and then they do the fifty. How does that work? Yeah. So sorry. So yeah. So it's a so it's a, a free. So a hundred percent discounted membership for one year. Um, we pay fifty oh, percent, okay. and the chamber pays fifty percent, and so the the small business on the corridor gets it for free for a year. Oh, okay. So is uh, anyone can apply for this, or how does that work? Yeah, so any businesses along the, who are, who are uh, along the corridor, um, they're welcome to, to, con to contact us and then we put you through the application process. It's a free process um, and then they can access all of the, the, the really good opportunities that the commerce, the chat commerce has. Okay. Bueno, lo que está haciendo, diciendo Paul es que la Cámara de Comercio Hispano de Vancouver y Fourth Plain Forward um, están haciendo un programa donde si usted tiene un negocio entre el pasillo del Fourth Plain, usted puede tener uh, una membresía de un año. Um, this is for the website, correct? So this is, uh, so, so the website is a separate program, sorry. Okay. To the, to the, so the Chamber of Commerce is one program, the website mm -hmm. is, a, is another program. Oh, okay. And so what exactly would the free membership be? And um, so that gives uh, that gives um, businesses access to to join the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, so okay. the, cha the Chamber of Commerce is a big uh, is a, it's a fantastic marketing and networking opportunity. And um, so you get free advertising. They do a number of different technical training programs for businesses. Uh, and they, they offer various different promotions throughout the year to improve your business. Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand. Thank you. Sorry, sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that I'm giving the, the correct information. Um, so lo que está diciendo Pa es que um, la Cámara de Comercio Hispano de Vancouver ahorita está teniendo como una promoción de 100% de descuento, entonces sería gratis para ustedes, donde ustedes pueden ser un um, miembro de la Cámara de Comercio Hispano y ellos le pueden ayudar con mucho este 
con marketing, lo que significa es este, como si hay comerciales que ustedes quieren tener o si les pueden ay ayudar con sus redes sociales, um, todo lo que ayuda a que las personas vean que ustedes están en negocio y para que más personas vengan a su negocio. Yeah, and they're, they're our sort of two key programs at the moment, um, and we'll but we'll be building out many more programs as the the next year comes on. We also um, have the opportunity for next year, um, around about July, um, we have a, a new building being opened up along the Fourth Plain uh, Boulevard called the Fourth Plain Commons, um, and that will have um, a market space, an event space commissary kitchen space and a co-working space as well. Ok. Dice Pa que el próximo año va a haber un nuevo edificio que se llama Fourth Plain Commons y allí va a haber um, un lugar para... It's going to be a place to have like... What is that exactly? Like, to, what's going to be inside the building? So in the building there will be... Um, so there will be an outside plaza that will hold a community market. Okay. Um, there will be an event space so we can hold quinceañeras and other, other events and training events. There'll be a commissary kitchen where restaurants and food truck owners and food businesses can rent kitchen space to uh, to, to make food. And then there'll be a small co-working space. So if, if a business wants to rent out an office space for a small period of time, they have the access to do that as well. Oh, ok, ok. Bueno, lo que dijo Pa es que el próximo año va a haber un nuevo edificio que se va a llamar Fourth Plain Commons. Lo que este edificio va a es, es como una plaza donde va a haber lugar para que haga puestos para las personas que quieren vender. También adentro va, una persona lo puede rentar como, como un salón o también va a haber cuartos que personas también pueden eh, rentar. Y también este va a haber un lugar como para restaurantes o este um, camiones de comida. Entonces, realmente lo que va a hacer es como un, una plaza de negocios. And so with that coming next year, there's, there's a lot of opportunities um, for us to provide a lot more resources for small businesses. Um, and if people are interested in participating in a community market or would like to contemplate starting their own food business, Um, or want some help um, creating their own business and it doesn't have to be a food business, um, then that, 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 will be, that will be available. Um, but people can start talking to us now about their interest and we can start helping, helping out with that sooner rather than later. Sí, bueno, Paul dice que esto atrae muchos negocios. Esa es la meta, que va a atraer muchos negocios porque este va a ser un mercado. Entonces dice que si ustedes tienen como una idea que quieren empezar su mercadito o quieren tener un puesto, ahorita sería un buen tiempo de contactar a ellos para que puedan eh, empezar haciendo eso para cuando el, el edificio esté listo y ustedes también van a estar listos. Awesome. Okay, so what is the process to receive um, help or resources if you are the owner of a small business? ¿Cuál es el proceso para poder recibir ayuda o recursos si eres el dueño de un negocio pequeño? So it's very straightforward for us. Um, really, it's a phone call or an email, um, either to myself or to the office. Um, and then we really sit down together and have a, have a conversation about what do your needs look like? What, what are you looking for? And then from that, we, we sort of start to gain an understanding. And then we can start helping out and finding specific resources for you. Pa dice que realmente el proceso es muy fácil, es solamente llamar a la oficina de él o mandarles un correo electrónico. De allí ustedes se van a sentar, van a tener una junta donde ustedes hablan de lo que necesita usted en su negocio, qué es lo que necesita ayuda. Um, de allí ustedes van a crear un plan donde... Um, donde este, un plan donde les pueden ayudar con específicamente lo que necesiten para ese programa, pero dice que es muy fácil para empezar, solamente les llaman o les mandan un correo electrónico. And so that process can also look like uh, if you want finance, for example, and um, we would talk about what resources are out there and, and put you in contact with the right people to get those resources um, and find funding. And we'll help you um, With, uh, with emailing out or making contact and we introduce you to the right people to talk to. Y dice Pau que eso también incluye las finanzas que necesita para su negocio. Entonces, si usted realmente no sabe dónde empezar con las, las finanzas, ellos te van a poner en contacto con una persona que le puede ayudar con las finanzas de su negocio. And if you want help just with starting the business or you're not too sure about how to do things, and then we can talk through that with you 
um, and then um, and give you some ideas and and point you in the right direction um, and help navigate the complexities of of starting a business. Al mismo tiempo, dice Paul, que si usted ni sabe cómo empezar el negocio o necesita alguien que le ayude con esos pasos para empezar ese negocio, ellos también les pueden ayudar con eso. And my hope is that we will have very shortly um, a business development manager on our team who is, who is fluent Spanish. And so that will make things a lot easier for us than currently. But we have folks that can help um, with that at the moment as well. Dice Paul que su meta es tener a un personal que habla español para las personas que necesitan esa traducción um, para que se haga el proceso mucho más fácil. Pero dice, aunque no tengan esa persona, alguien ahorita en este momento, él, ellos también, um, sorry, <laughs> perdón, otra vez lo voy a decir. Dice Paul que aunque no tengan esas personas en ese momento, ellos um, todavía les pueden ayudar a encontrar a alguien que le pueda ayudar en su idioma de español. And I think and if we don't have the right answers, we can always find somebody to, to help find those right answers as well. Y a lo mejor ustedes van y les preguntan alguien, algo que no saben o no tienen los recursos. Él dice, um, si ustedes tienen pregunta, ellos van a encontrar esas respuestas. Si no, si no sea con ellos, va a ser con otra persona, pero ellos siempre les va a ayudar a tratar de agarrar esas respuestas a sus uh, preguntas. And just really important to note, we don't charge anything. Our, our services are free. Y dice, muy importante saber es que ellos no cobran para sus recursos. Todo es gratuito. Awesome. That's good to know that everything is free. Okay. So we know that you also, um, sorry, well, let me back up a little bit. Um, so what types um, of programs does Fourth Plan Forward? I know we talked about a little bit about that. Was there any other specific programs? Um, ¿Qué tipo de programa ofrece Fourth Plan Forward? So, yeah, so we um, we partner with different agencies to put events on. So, for example, last uh, last month at Clark College, and um, we partnered with the Latino Community Resource Group um, to put on their multicultural resource fair. Um, and we also partner with other organizations to do um, summer events. So, Art in the Park. Uh, we partnered with Ballet Folklorica um, to put Art in, Art in the Park on. Um, and so, we tend to partner with folks to do those events as opposed to delivering events ourselves. Dice Pa que él um, están con otras organizaciones que les ayudan a traer uh, estos eventos entre la comunidad. Um, can you go ahead and just repeat some of those events that you had? You said it was the Latino. Yeah, so, uh, so the Latino Community Resource Group, um, we partnered with them to, to do the, uh, the Multicultural Resource Fair um, at Clark College last month. Ok, el, um, el mes pasado estaban en Clark College donde tenían un evento sobre, um, con, la, la, con la comunidad latina um, y se organizaron con diferentes organizaciones que les podía ayudar con eso. Um, but yeah, and then the programs, so specific programs, sorry, as a, as a side to events, um, we're just building new programs now. Um, and so that's, that's slowly coming together. Um, so we're looking at... Um, programs to work with young people and getting them into getting them into jobs so we partner with workforce southwest washington um, and the next program um to to help promote that um is one of our one of our new programs um, and some economic development work as well that we're just slowly building together al momento uno de los programas que están planeando es trabajar con la juventud de la comunidad también y traer este, organizaciones y recursos para poder um, a encontrar trabajos para la juventud. And also we partner with um, Vancouver Public Schools um, and we start with we're slowly building some new programs to, to link Vancouver Public Schools with um, some work with urban forestry um, and also to do some mural programs as well. Y uh, dice que ellos también trabajan con las escuelas públicas de Vancouver. Um, and what was the other or two organizations? Uh, so, um, uh, the urban, uh, urban Forestry. Urban Forestry. Okay. And, uh, and, the Cl and Clark County Mural Society as well. Murals, okay. Uh, dice Paul que ellos trabajan um, también con el Urban Forestry en Clark County Mural um, para traer más de esos programas. 
And we also partner with Clark County Historical Museum, and we're doing a, a large program on um, or a, a virtual exhibit on the history of the Fourth Plain Corridor. Y dice que también están ahorita um, en una, un proyecto con el Museo de Clark County. Um, the his, it was the Museum of Clark County, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, sobre hablar sobre la historia del pasillo del Fourth Plain. There are more programs coming. Y dice que va a haber muchos más programas que van a estar en el futuro. Thank you. Thank you for that, Paul. Okay, um, we know that, um, like you mentioned, you organize events for the community. Can you tell us about those events? Um, ya hablamos sobre esto poquito, pero sabemos que usted también organiza eventos para nuestra comunidad. ¿Nos podría contactar, contar sobre de esos eventos? Yeah, so um, as I said, the, we, we, we tend to partner with organizations to run events. So in the summer, we ran an Art in the Park event. And we partnered with five or six different organizations um, to bring uh, art and um, and, and um, uh, activities for, for young children um, tr throughout the summer. So we, we offered four um, weekend programs or Saturday programs um, and brought resources to, to a local community park. Okay. Dice Pa que, um, como les, ya les mencionó una vez, que ellos trabajan con otras diferentes organizaciones para poder hacer estos eventos. Él está explicando sobre el arte en el parque que tuvieron este verano, donde cada fin de semana tuvieron como un evento donde las personas iban al parque y este, había arte y eventos así. Um, yeah, and then also the Multicultural Resource Fair with the Latino Community Resource Group. Um, was was a, a program that we helped put together and partner with the uh, with, with the Latino Community Resource Group, um, and that was last month. Um, uh, but we don't currently have any new events coming up in the next in the next couple of months. Dice que también trabajaron para hacer una feria de recursos multiculturales, um, pero que al momento no van a tener este um, no tienen un evento en el futuro, pero nos estaba explicando de los eventos que han tenido en el pasado. But previously, we've run events in conjunction with the city of Vancouver, and we also managed a large multicultural festival in 2019 at Evergreen Park, just down the way on Fourth Plain Boulevard. What year did you say that was? 2019? 2019, yeah. 2019. Dice que ellos trabajan junto con la comunidad de Vancouver, y nos estaba diciendo que en el año 2019 tuvieron un evento muy grande um, sobre el, um, la multicultural que está en la ciudad. And I think next year, as we have more staff turning up next year and our ability to, to hold more events, um, as well as with the Fourth Plain Commons, uh, will mean that we'll, we'll be doing a lot more events. Y nos está diciendo con el um, Fourth Plain Commons, el mercadito que le estaba diciendo a la plaza, que va a haber mucho más um, oportunidad de tener estos eventos para la comunidad. And I think the other thing as well, it would be really helpful for, for community members to let us know what type of events they would like to see. Um, and we're very, very keen to understand that. And so, um, so any, any events that you would like us to, 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 to do, um, we'd be really happy to talk to community um, and see what, we can, see what we can provide. Dice Paul que él realmente quiere saber lo que usted piensa, ustedes las personas que son de la comunidad, cuáles eventos quieren ver en, este, en esta plaza que va, que va a haber. Dice que él realmente quiere escuchar las voces de ustedes para que ellos sepan cuáles eventos necesitan que preparar para ustedes. All right, Paul. So talking about um, events that you put on and the community and things like that, um, can you tell us about some future events that we can put on our calendars? Um, ¿Nos podría contar un, de unos eventos en el futuro para anotarlos en nuestro calendario? And yeah, so right now I think... Um... The, the the key one um, for us that we're working towards for the October the twenty second um, is the is the day of the de day of the dead celebrations in Estershaw Park, and um, so that's Saturday the twenty second at four pm, um, and so that's being organised by Ballet Folklorica um, and a number of other organisations. So that's a that's a key one for for us. Where what park did you say that was going to be at? Estershaw Park. Estershaw. 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 Yeah. Estershaw. Sorry. Okay. Bueno, ellos, um, Paula quiere invitar a ustedes que el octubre 22 a las 4 de la tarde van a tener una celebración de Día de los Muertos en el parque de Esther Shore. Entonces, él está invitando, um, invitándolos a ustedes que este va a ser el evento del futuro que deben de ustedes poner en el calendario. Um, and then I think, although not, not a, a one-off event, but um, a, good, uh, a good one to note is the, um, uh, the plaza 
that's being um, managed and, and provided by uh, Vancouver Public Schools, um, Roosevelt Elementary School, every Tuesday and Thursday evenings from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it's uh, an open house homework club uh, for young kids from uh, K through 12, and then also a resource centre for parents of those children. Um, and so that's happening every Tuesday and every Thursday until Christmas. Um, there's there's food available and resources available, and it's just an exceptionally good opportunity um, for for those that don't have to be in the Vancouver Public School um, district. They can be from anywhere. Um, um, and what time is this? So Tuesday and Thursday, what time? Tuesday and Thursday is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. 6 to 8 p.m. Ok. Al mismo tiempo, Pau también nos está invitando que eh, cada miércoles, perdón, cada este um, martes y jueves a la, de las 6 a las 8 de la tarde um, hay un programa donde los niños pueden ir de, de los niños desde kinder hasta 12 grado o también los padres pueden ir. Es un lugar para un centro para recursos para los, los uh, padres y también para que los niños puedan tener ayuda con sus escuelas. Yeah, and so that's, um, that'll, that'll run until Christmas, I believe. In fact, I think it may be running for a, after Christmas as well. Um, sí. But lots, lots of support for, for families. Y dice que esta ayuda va, um, va a ir hasta después de Navidad. Dice que es hasta Navidad, pero a lo mejor va a ocurrir hasta después de Navidad. Um, and then also on the uh, Saturday, the 29th of um, October, um, let me just double check Saturday, the 29th of October for you. Um, there will be at River City Church um, uh, at um, about 11 o'clock in the morning, another Day of the Dead event, uh, Day of the Dead event um, at River City Church on Fort Plain uh, Boulevard, um, where there will be uh, food vendors bands um, and um, and other other um, opportunities for uh, Mercado um, and that's through Lulac Grows. Lulac. Bueno, Paul dice que otro evento que ustedes también pueden poner en el calendario es que el 29 de octubre, el sábado, en la iglesia de Riverside, a las 11 de la mañana van a tener otro evento de Día de los Muertos. Ahí va a haber comida, música, va a haber mercaditos. Um, entonces lo está invitando, invitando a ustedes en este evento también. Um, so yeah, that's for, for sort of this month. Okay. Y dice que esos son los eventos de este mes, entonces... Si ustedes los quieren poner en el calendario, pónganlos en el calendario. I just told them, if they want to put them on the calendar, go ahead and put those on the calendar. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> yes. Dice que sí, por favor. Um, if we want to learn more about Fourth Claim Forward, where can we find more information? Um, y si queremos aprender más sobre Fourth Claim Forward, ¿dónde podemos encontrar esa información? Yeah, so you can visit our website, which is fourthplaneforward.org, is the, is the main website. Dice que pueden um, ir al sitio de web de Fourth Plane Forward, que es fourthplaneforward.org. Um, and you can also email us um, at info at fourthplaneforward.org. Dice que también les pueden mandar un correo de electrónico a info fourthplaneforward.org. And you can always call us on uh, 3528. 0871. Can you go ahead and repeat that number for me? Yeah, I, I got it wrong. For, uh, 360 258. 360 I forgot the number. 0581. 0581. Y dice que si quiere contactarlos por llamada, les puede llamar a las, al 360 2580-581. So ese um, número es de la oficina. And we can go ahead and try putting that number on the screen for the people as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere else, do you have any social media pages where we can find that information? Yeah, so we're on Facebook um, and we're on Instagram and also on Twitter. Um, so the handle is always Fourth Plane Forward. So if you look for Fourth Plane Forward on those, on those three platforms, you'll find us. Dicen que todas sus redes sociales es el Fourth Plane Forward. Ese es el nombre que los pueden encontrar en Facebook, en Instagram y en Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Perfecto. Awesome. Thank you. Um, how can we get involved with Fourth Plane Forward? ¿Cómo nosotros podemos involucrarnos con Fourth Plane Forward? 
Yeah, so um, there's always opportunities to volunteer. We're really keen to, to, to enable folks to come volunteer at the events that we're running or helping us in various different ways. Um, so if you live on the Fourth Plain Corridor, we have um, a community advisory committee that you'd be welcome to join. Paul dice que siempre necesitan ayuda con los eventos que le estaba diciendo. Um, entonces, si usted quiere ser un voluntario en estos eventos um, y vive en el pasillo de Fourth Plain Forward, ustedes pueden hacer eso um, y entrar en ese grupo. And see, our community advisory committee um, helps us um, helps us understand the needs of the community and also helps us uh, create programs for the community. So it's very important for us to have community sitting on that on on that board and um, helping create our programs. El dice que el community advisory um, committee ayuda um, con realmente hablar con las comunidades y saber lo que se necesita um, sobre los eventos, sobre los programas que se, se necesita para esa comunidad y usted puede ser parte de ese grupo que ayuda a su comunidad. And also, if uh, again, we're, we're always looking for for local residents to to join our board of directors as well. So, if somebody has a an interest in in, um, in really helping promote the area and uh, and really work with our communities and businesses, and um, then they'd be also welcome to to reach out to talk about joining our board of directors. Dice que también están buscando directores um, para um, board of, sorry, <laughs> go ahead and can you go ahead and re repeat that you're looking for board of directors um, for anyone that's like interested to join that? Yeah, so if, if so specifically for residents um, along the corridor, so if you live within our within our district um, or you run a business within our district, um, then we're always very, very keen to talk to, to people to join our board of directors. We have a small board of directors now. We'd like to expand that out. Dice que si usted vive en el pasillo del Fourth Plain Forward, digo, del Fourth Plain, o si tiene un negocio en el pasillo, um, siempre están buscando a personas que sean directores. Um, y entonces, si usted tiene un interés entre um, ser un director en este grupo, um, están buscando personas. Eh, y, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we, hopefully, uh, over the next year, um, we'll also be having um, a lot more job opportunities so you can keep an eye on our web page. There will be uh, an employment page on there, and hopefully we'll be able to um, to provide um, some some work as well if people are interested. It dice que en los próximos meses o años van a haber más oportunidades de trabajo. Entonces, si usted está buscando un trabajo, que tengan ojo en el sitio de web para que um, estén chequeando los trabajos que están disponibles. And those job opportunities will look like um, community community work, community outreach, um, maybe business development work. Uh, event management work, those those type of things. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write those down for a second. So you said like outreach, um, community development, uh, business development, event management, event management. Okay. Um, uno de esos uh, puestos es como el desarrollo, el desarrollo comunitario o desarrollo de negocios o este preparación de eventos. Entonces, si usted está interesado en uno de esos puestos, en los próximos meses o un año va a haber más trabajo y oportunidades para usted. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Um, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about Fourth Plain Forward? Maybe some, something that I didn't mention in the questions today. ¿Hay algo más que, nos gustar, que le gustaría a usted contarnos sobre Fourth Plain Forward? Um, so actually, I said there's a, a couple of small bits. So we have our offices based on the Fourth Plain Corridor. Um, we have two offices. We have one office which I sit in um, and the team sits in to work. But we also have um, a small community space um, that's available to community. It has uh, uh, the ability for um, doing meetings, conferences, hybrid, as well as a comfortable space to sit and meet people and also a child uh, soft play area as well. Uh, with toilet facilities. So if people are, would like to need a, a small community space, uh, we offer that out for free.
Ok. Dice Pa que ellos tienen dos diferentes oficinas. Una es la oficina principal donde ellos trabajan, las personas de Fort Linford, pero también tienen otra oficina que es como una oficina comunitaria, donde si usted necesita un espacio para juntarse con otras personas entre la comunidad, este está disponible para ustedes. También hay una área para sus niños si es que necesita llevar sus niños con ustedes. Um, is this free for the community? Yeah, absolutely free. There's Wi-Fi um, if you need to, to borrow laptops, um, if you need to print something, if you need to scan something, um, then it's it, it's free to use. Dice que todo es gratis. Si um, necesita prestar, uh, rentar una computadora, ellos tienen una computadora para ustedes. O si necesitan Wi-Fi, también hay Wi-Fi. Dice que todo es gratis. Si realmente este lugar es como una oficina que usted, si usted necesita una oficina, vaya a este lugar. Um, and also we run um, on we run weekly competitions on our Facebook page um, for uh, to, to win um, gift vouchers for local restaurants along the corridor. So if you check out um, our, our, faith, our Facebook page um, quite regularly, you'll, you'll see some competitions come up. We normally offer $25 gift cards every week. Uh, the last the last restaurant was Hawaiian Grill, um, which is great, great Hawaiian food. Uh, but we offer different competitions every week. And that's on your Facebook? Yeah. Okay. Y dice que cada semana en el Facebook tienen diferentes competencias donde ustedes pueden ganar tarjetas de regalo sobre los negocios o los restaurantes. Um, entonces dice que lo sigan Facebook para que ustedes puedan ser parte de, de esos, um, de esos este, rifas. Um, yeah, and also, um, so if you are if you are looking for for resources and you're not too sure where to go, um, we're always happy to help. And as I say, if we if we don't have the answers, we're always really quite happy to 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 find those answers for you. Y Paul dice que um, si realmente ustedes tienen una pregunta sobre lo que sea um, del negocio o de la área. Um, que les pregunten a ellos y si ellos no tienen esa respuesta, ellos van a encontrar una persona que sí va a tener esa respuesta para a ustedes. Pero sí, ellos van a ayudar para que usted pueda tener esa información que necesiten. Um, yeah, and, uh, and if there's, and I think I mentioned before, but if, if there's any particular programs uh, or events that you would like to see along the corridor, um, please feel free to, to send in suggestions, come speak to us. Um, and let us know your thoughts. We're really, really open um, to working with the community and, and with, with everybody to, to, you know, to, to promote the fourth plane corridor and, and do the best that we can for everybody. Y dice Pa que otra vez dice que él realmente quiere saber lo que ustedes quieren ver en el fourth plane forward, um, en, el fourth, en el pasillo de fourth plane. Entonces que hablen con ellos, hablen con la organización, mándenles un mensaje, llámenles y algo, algo así para que ellos sepan lo que ustedes quieren ver uh, sobre los eventos o será o negocios, lo, de lo que sea. Ellos quieren saber lo que ustedes quieren tener en ese espacio. Awesome. Cool. Is, um, is that everything for today? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, unless you have any other questions. Um, oh, no. I think you covered uh, most of it. Um, está diciendo Paul que si había algo más que quería decir. Um, y um, dice que no, es todo para hoy. Um, entonces, muchas gracias, Paul, por venir y compartir información sobre Fourth Plane Four. Thank you so much, Paul, for being here today and giving us that information about the organization Fourth Plane Four. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. You're welcome. De nada. We're, you know, and we're always here to to just learn about the community and knowing what the what resources are for the community. Siempre nosotros estamos aquí para escuchar a las personas que quieren ayudar a la comunidad. Um, no se les olvide que la conferencia para jóvenes de Latino Leadership Northwest será en persona este año. Después de dos años largos, regresa a Washington State University, Vancouver. Si les gustaría aprender más sobre este evento, por favor, visiten a su página de web, latinoleadershipnw.org y su página de Facebook, facebook.com. Latino Leadership Northwest. Esta conferencia es para todos los jóvenes del suroeste de Washington y partes de Oregon. La conferencia será el 7 de octubre de las 9 de la mañana hasta las 3 de la tarde. Bueno, muchísimas gracias a todos que se reunieron hoy en nuestra charla. Los vamos a ver para la próxima. Adiós. Thank you.